Good afternoon and happy Sunday to all of your sunshiny faces, guys. <sighs> it's already almost 11 o'clock. I wish I would have been in the shower like half hour ago or almost an hour ago. But guys, I actually got a lot of, a ton of stuff actually done for today. It was thunderstorming today, guys, which I was expecting it to be like doing all weekend and it like kind of rained on and off. But today was actually like pretty much almost thundering, storming, or at least raining almost all day today. But guys, one thing that I did do because I have needed to, um, and I've been thinking about this a lot too, especially ever since I kind of got into the whole family history thing and everything like that I realized that so many of our pictures I'm so scared are gonna get ruined or lost or you know something will happen to them so I have a lovely printer that I don't use for printing because the ink is really expensive on it because it's a Lexmark and I'm not even sure I for the longest time they started clearancing out the ink at um, Target for the Lexmark printers and so I don't know that they even sell the ink like I mean, you might have to go to like Office Depot or something like that to get it but they used to carry it at like Target and I don't even think that they carry at least the one that I need for this printer so I don't use it I have a, just a cheapy cheap cheap HP printer that I use for printing if I need to print things but the Lexmark that I got was actually I think only like 30 or 40 dollars maybe it was even cheaper maybe it's like 20 bucks honestly I cannot remember off the top of my head I remember though it was like well over 50% off what it was when I got it the copier scanner faxer and it's prints photos I believe as well but it's a little bit older like honestly it's a handful of years old but the um and like I said too like for copying and printing it's not a super like you know effective because like I said the ink now that I have to get it was still really expensive ink like I can get the the XL packages of that HP like super cheap at you know like you know for like $40 or something like that and honestly the one I got has lasted like for forever um I don't print that often and the one for the, the Lexmark that I have is expensive so yeah I do have two printers but they kind of have different purposes this one I use for scanning basically is pretty much its only function now um, which is kind of like not the greatest but you know if we ever do need something like copied or whatnot I can do that look at that my fingerprints were left marks on here um, but yeah I've been using it as a scanner um, to scan pictures so I've been going through like a ton of old family photo albums and I did today I almost got through one whole one which had like I don't even know how many pictures a ton of them in there but um, it uh, compared to how many we have it's like a small drop in the bucket but um, I almost got through one whole one I'll probably finish it up tomorrow I was on the last like little set of them it was like a three like section one and I was uh, actually almost halfway through the third section so I was almost done but then I needed to get some other stuff finished up. So, and the other thing too was that I found a random unopened um, uh, flash drive in the attic that was 16 gigabytes. I was like, well, I guess I can store as much footage or, you know, as, much, as many pictures on there as possible for as long as I need to until I can get either a much bigger one or maybe even eventually like a, um, a what's it called? The, the, the like hard drive. Um, and I was even thinking too at some point to get a like a, a VHS um, like converter and get some of our old VHS tapes off of there and like digital. Um, so that was my other thought process and all of that and to keep all of the pictures and all that kind of stuff But the cool thing was I learned about like the metadata and tagging and stuff like that in photos So if you were like looking for something specifically like let's say for example You know my mom or something like that and I type in tag and then I search her name all the pictures that I tagged her in I can find then in my my flash drive So it doesn't have to be like on Facebook or you know Twitter or like hashtagging things and whatnot It's it's a lot you can also to like go in there and say like when the picture was actually taken so when you upload it obviously it's gonna have that information but then too like if you actually have the date the picture was taken you can add that information you can also add like comments in there too like oh this was someone so's birthday or you know this was at the park or you know we were you know this was our family vacation to such that you can add all that stuff actually in the picture and it saves it 
in the picture file, um, which I didn't know. I knew I could do it on my Mac because I had done it with some of my other files. I didn't necessarily know and had never really tapped into that whole aspect of that stuff on my PC because I've never done that before um, because I don't do any like photos or you know video anything really on my my PC I mainly do it on my Mac and honestly too the thing is I'm getting it all straight from my um, my the scanner onto my flash drive and I could put it on my Mac or I could put it on my PC whichever I want to because I have it on the flash drive and I can edit it all the same way so that was what I was doing a tiny bit today I did one picture to test it out but the rest of them I was just uploading um, or scanning into my my flash drive so I was working on that for a bit today um, just something like fun kind of to do because I felt like this was a little bit more fun like going over old pictures and things like that and eventually too a lot of those like documents and things that I have that are like family documents or you know like birth certificates or whatever of like grandparents or naturalization papers that kind of stuff that we have copies of is uh, taking those and like preserving them as well because again I know that like I'm sure there's actual copies of them and they're held in different places and stuff like that but you know the ones that we have and if anything were to happen to them like I know that during one period of time there was a, like a fire or something like that where some records were being held and all of those were lost you know what if something like that happens I mean I know that like that kind of stuff isn't necessarily happened that often anymore but I know from like a period of time I think where I was trying to find something out about my great grandma or something like that like a lot of those papers were missing because there was I guess a fire or something like that at a building where they were being held so that's why like just those type of things or you know even to just little newspaper clippings and stuff like that like if it was an obituary or something like that those type of things to hold on to pr to preserve too um, just because you know in a couple of years flash drives might be completely obsolete too but you know just holding the holding on to those for even like future generations and stuff like that as well um because at some point something could happen to you know the actual physical papers or pictures or documents and things like that and to have it kind of backed up is 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 a nice um idea and i know lots of people do that we've never really gotten around to doing that my mom takes pictures of pictures and then like posts them and stuff like that or saves them or whatever but um it's actually really clean to do it by scanning the picture um and you get like everything off there my mom's half the time they're all like blurry and stuff like that you can't make half this stuff out so <laughs> that's what I was doing today guys and then the other thing that I did too I did go to Aldi now I didn't go to Walmart or to Menards because Menards actually the deals ended yesterday so that was a, something I wasn't going to wind up doing but um, I didn't wind up going to Walmart just because I didn't really have that many deals going on anyway and it was kind of another headache it was raining my dad was actually finishing I think I told you guys he was finishing up the drywall putting the drywall in the bathroom and um yeah, so again, that's a whole nother thing. He was working on that, and I was like, okay. So my mom just took me to Aldi. We got there. We got, uh, you know, our groceries shopping done and everything like that. And then um, I actually, though, this morning before we had even went to Aldi, had started doing some produce prep and meal prepping for myself and stuff like that and finished it up after all the and I'll show you guys what I actually did get done I also did dishes with the exception of I've got this this is from me making my breakfast potatoes and it's gonna sit there until tomorrow because I'm gonna let it soak isn't that like a really good excuse guys just let it soak that way you don't have to actually take care of it um <laughs> but I'll take care of it tomorrow I ended up making a side salad already for the week I also ended up making I made breakfast potatoes for everybody else smaller little ones I actually need to add eggs and cheese to this so I'll probably do finish that up tomorrow I also made parfaits I made five parfaits in total these four right here and there's one up there and then I also chopped up bell peppers for this week and I also made my breakfast potatoes which are back there because I don't add eggs to mine or the salsa or anything like that so I did that I also cut up I had two uh, things of cauliflower and two things of broccoli so I also chopped all that up and did that prep as well um and so i think that was pretty much it that i ended up doing but it ended up like i got everything but the breakfast potatoes done this morning and then after that i ended up finishing up the breakfast potatoes um once i got back from all the and i'll have those for this week the one other thing maybe two things that i might want to do is um for sure i do want to make my um the 
what's it called uh spinach salads for this week um which i'll probably do tomorrow when i have my lunch anyway because right now there's not really anywhere to put them in the fridge and then also too i was thinking about making that really delicious salad i ended up making it i think like back in february or march or something like that it was delicious it was like a cucumber like a mediterranean like chickpea feta salad kind of thing oh my gosh guys it was amazing and i've had the ingredients to make it <laughs> except for i think like a cucumber um but i've had the ingredients to make it and i have just been putting it off and putting it off and i was like i need to make it again so i might have that too and that way i can have that as like a lunch substitute or a dinner substitute it's really nice too because it's not hot it's not like eating soup or like curry or anything like that or or, you know chili like in the, the summertime it's a nice cool kind of like dinner or lunch and then also too I think just for like snack wise make myself like a seven layer salad um, and then normally I kind of like have that throughout the week like in little in little bits and stuff so anyways I pretty much finished up all of that um, with the exception of like I said I just didn't get to everybody else's breakfast potatoes but there's parfaits in there so that's fine for them I guess um, so yeah guys I did get a lot of stuff done I didn't <laughs> thing is I didn't actually get anything checked off of my to-do list for this week so far um, not even one single well nope I guess I did have produce prep and I did oh I also made freezer dinners too guys today um, I had two packages of pork chops and I just threw teriyaki sauce in there and froze them and then I'll defrost them and we'll grill them um, whenever we decide we're gonna grill so I did do that I also did I did freezer dinner I did produce prep and breakfast potatoes and I'm gonna like I said do the salads tomorrow so that's actually four things off my like 10 12 to-do list that I have on there which I didn't have organized pictures and scan pictures on my to-do list for this week but I randomly was just like oh, I'm gonna do it so um, I was just randomly like thinking about that too especially since I cleaned off the top of my printer and there's no uh laundry on there anymore put all my laundry away now i can actually see it and i was like i should take advantage of having this printer in here because if not it's kind of useless because i don't use it for anything else other than like scanning um so it's yeah it's kind of weird to have two printers for something that you don't use like my mom's is an hp i think she uses the same ink as mine and she gets really good like ink per cartridge which like i said the lexmark does not have very good um, but she has one as well and hers like I said is an HP and it works I don't know that she's ever used this scanning function on it but I'm pretty sure that it has it and I should honestly just get myself a new printer and then get rid of the two of them <laughs> instead of having two taking up space in my room but again that's more money I have two printers and it's not costing me extra money to have the two of them um, it would cost me more to go out and buy a new one it saved me on space but not money so anyway so guys I'll see you all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, love if you'd subscribe, and I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So, bye guys.